Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to connect to Oracle database from our MATLAB and we will run also some SQL queries using MATLAB command line and also the database explorer app. So let's begin. First and foremost, we will see how we can connect to the Oracle database using our SQL plus from our uh, Windows command prompt. So for that, I have created a local database. Uh, so I will use that. CTXS, CTXS, this is my user ID and password at the rate of localhost. I think spelling is wrong. If yeah, and then the port number is 1521. I kept it default, and then the database name is XC. So let me see if it runs. I'm not sure why it's giving this error, but anyway, let me give the user ID and password manually. GTX perfect so it's able to log in to my database we'll use the same credentials in our matlab in our environment while trying to connect to oracle database in this sql prompt what we can do is we can also quickly run a query probably a quick one we can select table name from user table because just to check whether we are able to fetch something or not so fetch First ten rows probably. I'll not because there will I am pretty sure lots of entries. First ten rows only. And let me see what it returns. Perfect. So it returns some ten table names from the uh, table called user tables. So we'll use this query to test in our matter environment also. And we'll use this to our to log in to our database. So let's start the MATLAB now. In the MATLAB, uh, first and foremost, we'll go to the apps tab and in that uh, we'll use something called database explorer so just search for data base explorer app run it it may take a while to load once the app comes up first and foremost thing we'll do is some kind of configuration to the uh, database so for that we'll use this option and over here we'll use configure jdbc data source so we are basically trying to give the instructions to the MATLAB, the our database. So over here, we'll use the JDBC driver, of course. The vendor name is Oracle. Name of the database, this is just a name which is for our reference, so we can give it anything. Probably I'll give something as Oracle underscore local. Since it's my local database. Driver location, for driver location, you have to give the JDBC driver location. I have already downloaded, downloaded the JDBC driver at this location. So I'll give this location over here. and open the explorer here make sure to select the jar file not the folder you have to give up to the jar file so i'll select that and if i go back to my configuration uh, settings here i can see that the complete then we can give the other details like database name so for database name we can go back to our uh, this one and this last one exif is our database name so we'll give this over here as an entry the server is localhost, the port number is anyway the default 1521, so I leave it as it is. And my driver type is thin, so that's all. I can quickly do a test over here and see how it comes up. So I have clicked on test and it asks for the UID and password, which I will again enter is CT. CTXSYS. And let me see if it's successful. Perfect. So connection is successful. Then I can go ahead and save it. And then I can close this configuration window. So more or less our uh, database is configured. Now we can use our MATLAB command line also to run it. Or we can also query it over here uh, using uh, after connecting to, to the database. So first I'll show how we can do it in database explorer itself. So the configuration will come over here in the connect. Once you have it, then you have to enter your UID password. So the previous one what we entered was just for test. It will not save the UID password in the configuration. Please note. And once it ha you have it, then it will give you the schema to select select anything. Probably I will select uh, what this one itself. Click OK. So once the database is connected, this kind of window will come up. And over here, either we can do a new query or we can enter the query manually. So I think I will go for this option manually where I can enter the SQL query. And I'll select this particular query which I ran previously and see if, we, if I can run it over 
inside my database explorer app or node so i have run it i get some error here jdbc driver error sql command not properly ended okay so i think semicolon is not required here uh, because semicolon is by default uh, Mat um, uh, matlab will take care and perfect so i get some return over here the similar return what i got in our windows command prompt so this is the entry from our uh, database which we have got i'll do the same thing from our uh, uh, command line also so i'll create a new script probably i'll name it as oracle database query you can name this anything it doesn't matter so in the script it's just one line of the command we have to do a connection and we can use the connection uh, we can use an api called database to connect and the arguments which we have to pass on is database source username and password so the database source is what we have just now configured so that is oracle underscore local if it's not configured so then it will throw an error and the other thing will be my user id password of the database and the password will be i think it's the same so i just copy paste this part perfect so that's all so once we have the connection then we can use some uh, query to run it so we will first create a no not this one uh, i think i will go here so once we have query here then what we can do is we can run it to fetch some data which is basically fetch and in the fetch the first one will be i think connection or the database uh, object so that's basically for me connection and the second one will be the query which i want to run here and i will not give semicolon because i would like to see the output in my uh, over here i get some error saying unrecognized okay i think i did a mistake here it's, it should not be a variable because it's not a variable it's a string which i have to pass it on so i'll wrap it around double quotes perfect so now i get some output here which is like the first 10 table entries similar to what I got in the windows command line so same thing I am getting over here as uh, an output over here in the MATLAB on window so that's all I wanted to show you how easy it is just to summarize we have to just create the configuration in the database explorer over here using the configuration data source and then we can run the query either in the database explorer or we can also use our MATLAB command line to run any query uh, of our of yeah whatever is required so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you